Have you ever tried to use your student system without using any verbal communication? Think for a second about how that would work. How would you feel? I would be frustrated. I would feel hindered and hampered and not able to say what I wanted to say. And I don't think I would like it. Most of us don't like it and that's why we don't do it. Um, we very quickly realize that it's very frustrating not being able to say what you want to say as quickly as you want to say it. However, my strategy today is to fight against that impulse and practice having system-only conversations. Um, this really only works for students who um, know a little bit more vocabulary in their system. It's not best for early AAC users. However, this is such a good strategy. I wanted to share it with you. So it's really simple. Here's what you do. If you have two identical systems where you could have one as your voice and they could have one as their voice, that's preferable. But I know in you know the real world, especially if your student has a really high tech device, you just have the one. Um, but you take the system and you start by only talking to your student using their system. What did you do today? But without the verbal, I mean, you're just like, and then your student responds back with what they did today. And so I challenge you to go a full 10 minutes um, daily if you can with your student, your AAC user, and talk to them only using their device, only using their system, excuse me. Um, this is going to do a couple of really great things. Um, the first is it's going to expand their vocabulary. Um, it's gonna help them be more proficient. And again, working on those conversation skills, moving beyond asking for wants and needs, they're gonna explore that in their system. It's also gonna help you be more proficient with navigating their system. And it's going to give you a lot more empathy for what they go through as a nonverbal, alternative, augmentative communication communicator.